How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be going over five hidden features of the Galaxy Tab S. This is uh, Samsung's newest tablet, um, one of their flagships. Great design, beautiful, and it's got some really cool stuff that a lot of people don't even know about. So I'm going to jump in and show you guys some of those cool features today. The first feature is called da -da -da -da, Ultra Power Save Mode, which is found right here. Now this is a feature you find on a lot of Samsung's phones, but not too many of their tablets. The Tab S 8.4 and 10.5 do have this feature. And what it allows you to do is to put your uh, tablet on this like super standby setting where a 32% battery could actually last you up to 15 days. Pretty amazing, right? Let me show you how it works. So when I turn it on, it's gonna turn off the color on the tablet, which is gonna help reduce uh, that battery usage. And it's also going to turn off your Wi-Fi and allow your background operations to kind of help preserve the tablet. Now, you're still going to have access to um, a couple of the important apps that you would need. So you can still go on the internet. You can still go on your calendar. You can go on your clock, Facebook, um, and Google+. Now... This feature works a little bit differently from tablets and for phones. So on phones, you can, in ultra power save mode, you can still make calls and text messages and go on the internet and Facebook. On the tablet, I recommend this feature if you're the type of person that only uses your tablet every couple of days or maybe once a week, for example, and you don't want to worry about having to constantly charge your tablet. Because some of you may know if you keep your tablet plugged in, it will affect the, the battery life if it stays plugged in too long. So with this feature, when you put your tablet down, maybe you put it down for the night and you know, again, you only use it every couple of days, switch your tablet in ultra power save mode before, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna hold that battery for you. So when you come back, you'll still have a battery, you'll still be able to use the tablet versus what tends to happen is um, you come back and your battery's dead. So cool feature, ultra power save mode, and you just find it right in the notification panel. To turn it off, you're gonna just swipe down from the top and hit turn off ultra power save mode, press okay, and it'll take the tablet back on the main setting and turn the color back on. So we'll give it a second to turn back on. And once again, I'll show you real quick how to turn it on just in case um, you guys missed it the first time. So we simply swipe down from the top, upper right corner, hit the square, and just hit U power save or ultra power save mode. So that's gonna be our first hidden feature right there. Our second hidden feature is gonna be a feature called, I don't know why I keep making that noise, don't mind me. Swipe down from the top, it's called toolbox. And toolbox, you can turn it on right from the notification panel. And this is a really cool little um, feature where you can select five apps that you want to have as shortcuts. So no matter what app you're in, you can simply tap on your little toolbox and you can get right to it. For example, I have the camera in here right now. I can have the camera as a shortcut. So if I ever need to pull up the camera, it's right there as a quick shortcut. Now, so for example, let's say I'm in the uh, Play Store, right? You're in the Play Store, you're looking for something, and maybe you need to switch apps really quick. Instead of having to go home and go to the other app, I can just hit my toolbox, which is the little circle, and then I can jump to one of my five shortcut apps right here. In fact, one of my shortcuts is settings, which is a cool way to get to settings faster than just having to sweat from the top. So that is toolbox. And to customize that and to basically set up your five apps that you want to be on there, hold down on it and drag up to the top where it says edit. And when edits highlight, let it go. And then it will allow you to set which five apps you want to make the apps in your toolbox. All right. Our next feature is going to come um, from also the top. If we swipe down from the top, we have what's called Quick Connect. And what Quick Connect's gonna allow you to do is to connect to uh, Samsung Smart TV if you wanted to uh, like send something from your tablet to the TV. It'll also allow you to connect to other Samsung devices 
and it will allow you to connect to a wireless printer. For example, you may be at someone's house, need to print an email or some other document. You can just hit quick connect and if that printer is on and set up wirelessly, you can find that printer and connect right to it. So I believe you do have to be on Wi-Fi as well, so make sure Wi-Fi on the tablet is turned on. As you can see right here, I have my uh, Epson WF2540 printer, and I could tap right here and I could print right to it without having to download a separate printer app or extra software. So that's a really cool feature. Um, tablets tend to be something where we want to view documents or emails, and if you need to print it pretty quick, it's just a simple, Quick connect, let it find the device, and tap print, and there you have it. So there's going to be our third. Um, that's going to be our third hidden feature. Our fourth hidden feature is going to be really quite cool. It's an app that's called SideSync, and what it allows you to do is to uh, mirror your uh, Samsung phone and most of the Samsung phones with your tablet. Let me show you how it works. So some tablets will come with SideSync already on there and others you'll have to um, download it from the Samsung uh, apps or your gallery, your Galaxy apps. But we're gonna find SideSync, sorry, tablets moving, uploading apps or uh, updating. So tap on SideSync, make sure you're on Wi-Fi. And then you're gonna go to your phone and you're gonna also open the same app, SideSync. And when both apps are open, uh, it will find the device, so here's my phone, and watch what it's going to allow me to do. It's going to mirror my phone onto the tablet screen and allow me to control the phone from the tablet. And this is a really great feature when you come home, your phone battery might be low and your phone might be in the room charging. Even while it's charging, you could have it plugged up, but have your tablet mirrored on, have your, excuse me, your phone mirrored onto your tablet, and then you're able to control it and see if someone's calling you or sending you a text message, or you could even view your Instagram, and here it is. So right now, my phone is mirrored, and I can actually swipe through. I can look through my apps. I can send a text message, I can go on the internet, I can look at a picture I took earlier. You basically are uh, remotely controlling your phone from the tablet. So this is a really cool feature and all you have to do again is download the SideSync app on your Android phone. Right now, look I have text messages that are popping up and I'm able to read them right from the tablet. And there's some other cool stuff where you can actually go larger and have your phone take over the screen. So if we look right here, I can actually have it be the full, the full screen just like that. So really cool feature. This is called SideSync. And uh, what you're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and close it up for now, turn it off. But um, let me show you where you would find the app in the event that you don't have it on your device. Find your Galaxy apps and search for SideSync in here. And if it's not in here, then check the regular app store, which is Google Play which is right here. And our final uh, hidden feature, uh, everything obviously is cool, but you know, everything can't be super cool. Uh, it's gonna be a feature called private mode. And what private mode is gonna allow you to do is hide pictures, videos, documents, voice memos, and music on the tablet. So for example, if I go into my, uh, my gallery, these are all the pictures I have on my tablet right now, right? So you think, I actually have more, but they're being hidden right now, and let me show you how. If we swipe down from the top, and we hit go to the upper right corner, you'll see you have an icon that's called private mode. Now right now, the light is not on, obviously this is what the light looks like on, the light is off, and here's how private mode works. When the light's off, everything is hidden, and when the light's on, everything is visible. So watch this, private mode is on, now guess what, to actually get into it, I have to put in my fingerprint. So you can actually password protect it. You can do a regular password or you can do a fingerprint password. So watch this. And let's hope I can get it. There we go. So put in my fingerprint and watch what happens. Oh, scratch that. Three more albums of pictures pop up. 
So again, you can hide those pictures, hide those videos, and guess what? No one even knows that they're hidden because there really is no trace that they're on there. All You're the only one that would know that private mode is turned on or turned off. So really cool feature, and if you wanna, again, hide those pictures again because you're about to give your tablet to someone, simply just swipe down from the top, go to the upper right corner, and just turn off that light, and everything will just disappear like magic. And there it is. All right, so those are going to be uh, just five hidden features of the Galaxy Tab S. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.